Children don't have the opportunity to voice their issues, especially in our media space, especially when there's so many other so-called important things happening in our country. I, I found this as an opportunity for me to have resources, to be able to put time aside to deal with some of the issues that I've always thought are quite important in our society and mostly underreported. And children's stories, those are one of them. The tips I would give to journalists who want to enter these awards this year, timing. You need to time your stories very well. You need to do a lot of research even before you put in your application to media monitoring. You need to be able to say who you're going to be interviewing, why you're going to be interviewing them, how much time it might take as well. You need to have all of those things at the back of your mind before you put through your application. because. I know, personally, there are hurdles that you can't even think about and even though you might try and think about everything, those hurdles might pop up and you might not know what to do. So if you have enough time and if you've done a lot of the research beforehand, that will definitely help you. Because children are our future. I know you might think that sounds very lame, but it's not. They are our future. I can't imagine the things I would have wanted done for me if I had been given the opportunity to be heard or been given the opportunity to say that actually I want this particular resource instead of this particular resource. And I think a lot of adults, we think we know what is best for children, but we never ask them. We never try to get to the bottom of what will be best for them. And we put in resources in place. Um, we put in people to help children in place. Yet we don't know if any of those are giving us the positive results that we need. And one, and specifically in, in, in children who are in conflict with the law, which is the story that I wrote about, we needed to speak more to those children. The process of submitting my story to the final product that came out was quite an interesting um, process, I must say. There were a lot of hurdles, things that I had not even thought about. Um, but I got a lot of help from people that I had worked with prior. Um, it took it took me a bit longer than I had anticipated to get permissions to go into childcare centers, and I must say I must say it was a bit tougher than I would have expected, especially as a full time journalist and also working on this very impo important project. Um, so it took me the four the four weeks that we had, and I thought I would have had written the story three weeks prior but it took me a bit longer so going back to my advice to you plan 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 it is it, it's just been amazing it's been amazing to be recognized for work that i have done and it's been kind of inspiring um to do a lot more of these kinds of stories and to focus on issues of children um, but I think more than anything else, the more than being a winner, I feel that I have highlighted this issue and there have been number, a number of people who have gotten in contact with me to say, wow, I didn't know that this is what happens to children who are behind bars, children who are in conflict with the law. So it's been quite a, a learning experience for me as a journalist and is, has pushed me to, do, to try and do a lot more stories centered around children and their issues. And there's definitely going to be a lot more installments around children who are behind bars and that their dreams don't just... Stop.